Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new Disney Heroes Battle Mode video and in today's video guys I wanted to focus on this brand new crate which has popped up. Now I've got quite a lot of diamonds so I wanted to open a few of these and just kind of give you kind of my opinion on these crates because I have, obviously this is a new crate and it looks like they might do it monthly now because if you read the description it says won't return this month so it looks like they might be doing a exclusive character like crate every month so i'm quite curious to see what we're going to get in this crate and if and if when it comes to actually um going through this crate we're actually going to get decent drops is it going to be better than a diamond crate uh that's kind of what i want to take a look at in this episode guys so first of all guys remember the competition that's running if you draw even under the oak tree with chicken little <laughs> you could win a fiver so just remember that guys now exclusive crate let's get straight into this because like i said i'm quite excited to see what we can do and i've just got a lot of diamonds and the main reason i've got a lot of diamonds guys is because well i was able to buy no not buy i got a thousand when i moved up into the challenger rank on um in the arena so yeah that obviously it was quite good quite important so yeah let's just jump straight into this and see what this crate's going to give us guys so because it, it look these look interesting yeah and it looks like we can get a lot of stamina it just seems like there's a good range okay i don't know if for free this new exclusive crate the left that contains hero chips for most heroes costume threads mod items and more this crate will only be available for a limited amount of time and won't return this month so that's why i'm saying that this could be really good um to save up for and get once a month instead of the diamond crates so yeah let's just open the free one first and also that's just going to give us him yeah which i which i expected because obviously that's what i said you just get him for free Okay, so it's 1,800 to open up 10. So I'm going to buy 10. And I'm going to see what the results are. Because obviously, I've got loads of diamonds. I don't need this many diamonds. So I'm going to jump in, open up, and just see what the initial results are for buying 10. So let, let's do it. Okay, so we've got 10... Um, uh, Remy, 10 Woody, 11 Donald Duck, loads of speed ups which is good because I was running out of those. What are those? See <laughs> watch tokens, I don't remember them looking like that. Um, stamina cost resets. 8 stamina cost resets as well. 1 double campaign regain. Is that just normal? Okay, level 2 ones as well. I'm going to open up another 10 of those. Because those were actually quite decent. Um, I've opened up crates like this before. And, you know, these seem better than the diamond crates. Because when you're not getting character shards, you're actually getting something half decent. Hmm. Yeah, I think these are a lot better than the diamond crates, guys. So that is something to keep in mind. That these are these are pretty cool. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do another 10. Uh, let's let's see what we get here from another 10. So we've got another 11 for him. 12 Rafki, he's a good character. That's going to be 10 more memory tokens. Some mod powder, some genie shards. So this one wasn't as good. But yeah, I just wanted to open a few of these just to kind of start the video off, guys. So these are... I kind of think these are better than diamond crates. Um, because of the more random bits and pieces you could get. Now, the first crate I opened was a lot better. But, yeah. You know, I don't think these are awful crates to open. So, I spent about 4,000 diamonds there. Got an okay amount of stuff. But, yeah, I'll, I'll save the rest of my diamonds now. Um, I was kind of hoping something a little bit better than that. But, you know... Guys, games like this, drop rates are always quite bad. So, 
yeah, I want to save the rest of my diamonds now for when there's like a city watch, a, uh, uh, oh, what are they called? Fortified network contest. Because <laughs> I'm scared that another one of those is going to come and obviously they're going to consume all the Gerald shards. Now I've got Gerald three stars and annoyingly, <sighs> annoyingly you need hundred shards to get them up here and the reason this annoys me is because well I, I you might have to wait four weeks just to level them up one more time so obviously we're a little bit stuck here where um, I only got 30 from the last contest so if we get first it's gonna be three six and nine and then I'm gonna have to do one more just to get them up to a hundred and I know, um, if I remember correctly, uh, Donald Duck started as a, um, Donald Duck started as a, uh, as a crate, as a contest exclusive character as well. And, um, yeah, it, it, I, it didn't really go that well with Donald Duck, to be honest with you guys. Like, it just took so long to do anything for Donald Duck. But, um, I mean... The Remy crate's quite cool, because like I said, you can get quite a decent amount of stuff from it. So it's one of those things to kind of bear in mind that this, is, this isn't this is a bad option to do over the diamond crates, just because you can get more variants of stuff. Because the problem with the diamond crates are, most of the time you don't need just hero chips, guys. Getting other things are more important. Yeah, see? So this is, you know, a lot more. I swear that costs more than it used to as well. But obviously, if you're if you're a new player in the game, I do recommend that you grab the diamond crate. 100% uh, recommend that you grab the diamond crate if you're a new player, guys, because um, because that's just going to be it's going to be useful. Uh, only if you're new to get some of those good free star characters to help you through the campaign and stuff. But yeah, I I guess as far as we go, I I do I, I do recommend that that crate to answer you. Okay, I oh I don't want to get demoted. Um, let's see if I can push second. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, readjust my Colosseum teams here actually as well because I need to do that. So I don't mind that one for first. It's Beast and Randall in that one. So now let's get um. So that's, I can knock Yaks out of there and put in like that. That makes that team a bit better. And this one here, make sure I put everyone good in. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's fight. Let's see what we can get here. Oh my God, that was easy. Yes. Come on. Yeah, nice. Randall's not, yeah, that Randall's not leveled up enough. Yes, nice. Do you want to put them didn't even do anything that game? They just stood there. Stay in first place to promote the challenger. Uh, I guess I'll fight the first team as well and just see if I can go through there. For some reason, I didn't have to wait on a countdown then. I do not know why. But yeah, let, let's take a look. Easy. I'll need to update my defense as well. I need to remember to do that. Popping Gerald in that team works really well. Ooh, I was a little bit scared then. I thought that Ducky Bunny was going to um, take me out. Cool. So I'm going to update my defense here. Okay, so 
Have I got a really weak... No, to be honest with you, my def I'm going to drop Animal off of there. I might not even need to do that, you know. If I put that on, if I go back to Team 2, um, Team 2 is my weak team. If I take Moana off and drop him on like that, we've just got a little bit of a better team there. Yeah, sick, that'll do. Cool, that's put my um, defense up by a little bit more. Cool, so that's actually put me in Platinum 1 there, guys. So I'm going to jump into a fan art favorite to round the video up because this has gone quite well. So I didn't expect to jump that high up in the Colosseum there, but yeah, that's that's done. I've done really well with that. Now let's take a look. <laughs> I'm actually generally going to change my... Um, I might, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change my thumbnail to that because that is fantastic. That is like a beaut upgrade to my thumbnail. <laughs> oh, Kingslayer, that's good. What? <laughs> what the hell? I don't really have much comment for that. That's, that's quite creepy. <laughs> Oh no, what? They didn't give him the reward. The key of beating an arena player is what character you use. I beat the person in third. Oh, very, very nice. That's a good team. Oh my god. Look at that, Gerald. That is mad. Ooh, someone's got a good uh, uh, Lego Legacy team there. Oh, that's pretty cool as well, actually. Anyway, guys, I'm going to round the video up there. I will be doing more LEGO Legacy videos in the future. But I will see you all in the next one.